بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹ اینڈ ویورس ٹو ڈے وی ڈسکس میڈیول فور ڈیٹا انالیسس پروسیس اسٹیپ ٹو فیل فار ڈیٹا ایز یو نو دیٹ دا ریسرچ پروسیس فار دا بیسک اینڈ اپلائی ریسرچ اسٹیپ سکس از اے سائنٹیفک ریسرچ ڈیزائن بیسیکلی نو ڈیز وی ہیو ڈسکسنگ ان ڈیٹیل اے سائنٹیفک ریسرچ ڈیزائن اینڈ فردر فریم ورک ریگارڈنگ ٹو ڈیٹا کولیکشن میتھڈ ڈیٹا اینڈ ریگارڈنگ ٹو دا میئرسمنٹ and this is is the framework of for scientific res, uh, research design and uh, we have going to be discuss a data analysis uh, today our topic is feel for this is the framework of uh, data analysis uh, basically there are three main components of data analysis feel for data goodness of data and hypothesis a uh, testing and uh, today we are going to be discuss our second step feel for data feel for data basically feel for data is refer to the data by checking the central tendency and dispersion of uh, your data basically you have received a data from your item scales and your questionnaires and fill for data give the information about the validity of your scales and uh, basically provide the center of tendency and dispersion of your data which data you have uh, collected through your questionnaires and items and scales central tendency and the dispersions measures that in indicates the approximate uh, center of distributions are called measures and measures of central tendency and these measures are uh, described in the spread of the data and the measures of a dispersion basically when you are our data is focus in the point and when your data have a dispersion showing the dispersion that information is provide we have got it from field of data you know that the field of data is also a complete uh, framework a complete process therefore one by one we are uh, are discussing the every steps and the point before this step we have uh, discussed a basic objective of uh, data analysis and uh, and and feel for data is the second steps of a data analysis then after that we move our next slide next slides basically the measures the measures are basically indicates uh, uh, the result regarding the center of tendency and the centers of uh, and show your uh, dispersion of your data and what are these measures these measures are basically uh, refer to the mean the range the standard deviations and the variance we also be called uh, that measures is descriptive statistic measures and these measures are basically uh, provide the information about feel for data after that when the researcher have received a result from these measures these descriptive uh statistic like that mean the uh, range and standard deviation and variance the researcher feel for a data it is data is uh, uh, going for the next stage not be it is we have need to be uh, work on our scales and our questionnaires that the uh, basically most important things is uh, hypothesis testing we have already dis- discuss there is no need to hear this and next we also be going for the measures basically uh, the data give the idea to researchers how the respondent have reacted to the items in the questionnaires and how good the items and measures are and second things the measures also be uh, give the information to the researcher and provide a complete uh, idea about how the respondent uh, is uh, reacted during the filling the questionnaires and and during they have uh, given the question uh, answer to your questionnaires and therefore you have also be uh, a field can take the idea from your respondent how their respondent how the goods their your items and how you can, uh, your measurements is going on through these measures these measures basically uh, provide the idea to the researcher about the respondent attitude rep- uh, respondent and 
items and questionnaires reaction basically then after the mayors also be a give the information of about the each individual each respondent item in a scale does not have a for example if the scale does not have a, a like that not only we talking about the scale individual item in in a scale does not have a good spread in mean range and shows a very little bit variability then the researcher would be suspect that the particular question was probably not properly worded and respondent did not be quite understand the intent of the question here you can is uh, you have uh, keep in your mind the importance of your uh, development of the questionnaires and development of your items and your scale that is the most important step before going to the uh, data analysis that uh, questionnaire development and questionnaire development steps we have already discussed in our uh, previous module and previous as uh, uh, module steps that's here we have seen that Okay, how the respondent, how the individual item and scales are showing the variability and showing the uh, uh, focus and showing the particular questions, reactions uh, about the respondent. If the res and the respondent did not quite understand and the intent of the questioner, it mean it mean the the reliability is. Uh, of uh, your data is uh, very little little variability you have shown on your data pictures in your in you have you have uh, when you have uh, running these measures uh, uh, for measuring your items and uh, scales you can see here that you can find the outliers you can for, for the focus point you can find of, of is the a good and uh, good spread and uh, uh, not good spread all things you can find here dispersion also be center tendencies also be you find here but uh, uh, center of uh, tendency in dispersions we uh, discuss in our next steps here is only for field for data no doubt the center of tendency uh, and the measures is basically of biases of if any data could and also be detected if the respondent have tended to respond similarity to all item that is stuck to the only certain point on the scales that is the most important things uh, you the researcher have feel from data during uh, conducting these measures uh, for example the researcher have, have to detect uh, the respondent have uh, responsing uh, the, uh, they have showing the reaction on similar to the all item that is stuck that that is uh, uh, focused only one a certain point on the scale that means they have you have need uh, to something to for understanding regarding to the reaction regarding to the scales of uh, Myers mint which you have uh, used for data collections the measures of separate we can be uh, explained here arrange the distance from the lowest to highest score dispersions and center of tendencies and you have seen when you use these measures mean mode medians and standard deviations the problem of clustering is difference you have find yeah for example in first uh, uh, sh in shape you have find the range of 50 and range of a 30 of the spread of the data and in the second example the problem of clustering you have differences here and uh, and last one is the problem of the outlier there is the big outlier you can hear the range is 18 to 48 and i think um, uh, that's is uh, a very important for the researcher for going to checking the uh, for the next steps of variance if researcher feel that your um, data is not be valid uh, they have no need to move further the feel for data basically the maximum and the minimum scores mean standard deviation variance and other statistics can easily be obtained and, and these will indicate whether the responses range satisfactory over the scale or not be satisfactory satisfactory we are we uh, i am already discussed about that's problem in the previous slide but the maximum if the minimum scores of the uh, your measures like that means standard deviation variance and other st statistics descriptive statistics 
can easily obtained and these will indicates of your respondent response reliable and valid uh, uh, but uh, so mostly if they have totally unvalid it, they have the problem in your data collection and that your scales and your atom you have need to uh, recheck your um, all uh, steps regarding to the data collection and development of the questionnaires and all things and wording and the principle of measurement and, and principle of wording and uh, principle of appearance of your questionnaires and now remember that the most important factor uh, researchers and the student you have uh, uh, feel uh, during the feel for data steps when you have uh, approaching uh, these steps uh, uh, in data analysis if there is no variability in the data then no variance can be explained that's the very simple thing I repeat it again if there is no variability in the data there is no variance can be explained you no need to be go for further explanation of your uh, a variance and you go to the next steps to the conducting the variance and that's all about uh, today lecture i hope you got it the a, a little bit idea about the data analysis steps feel for data how the researcher feel for data in the next inshallah steps we will uh, discuss the central of tendency and this dispersions uh, topic about uh, also be that uh, too much relevant be, uh, about be in the uh, field for uh, data stay blessed take care allah hafiz